What up, Big Ham? We got a good night tonight. We got high tension in the house. They about to introduce themselves. Call me Lyrically Spoken. It's Genesis 88. Speak. I'm Crazy Ace. And this is the crew that makes up high tension. I had them come by the studio so we could talk about some of the projects coming out and the shows. Um, let me talk to you real quick. You said, what, what was the main concern that you wanted to put out about this, the group and the feel of it? Main concern is, is just doing shows and releasing CDs to actually come out. No, I mean, no, like no, no internet rapper? No, yeah, no internet MC, no MySpace, Facebook, SoundClick, whatever click is out there, dot com. We, we all try and make it, make it a important fact to rock this live. And we all keep in mind, like, if you can't do it live, then don't do it. Or true. get the right pieces in place to do it. We all got DJs. We, we all got hype men. I mean, it's try and do this for real. So at the show, all four of you perform? Uh, we all we all have solo acts um, of our own, but we always make it a point that when we all get up, it's everyone included. We all have a ton of songs together. Uh, we all have pretty much the same, you know, fans more or less. It's just a big kind of, trying to start like a legitimate movement of just 508 hip hop. All right, so crazy, <laughs> so you don't want to put this together. How did you guys come together? Um, well, I mean, I work, I work with Lyrically Spoken, and I kind of knew, uh, I knew Speak from School, I heard about Genesis, and, um, I know they did a show, and, uh, another guy that I do music with, CO2, he, uh, was in a band with, with Speak, and I linked up with them, and then from there, we, we just been doing a lot of shows, grinding out, doing a lot of music. And then I showed him my project and showed him what I was trying to do. And then from there, we kind of just, you know, teamed so, up. So how long have you guys been a group? Well, officially, it's been probably like about, I'd say probably about six months. Six months? We've yeah. Been, we've been all day. doing our own projects every now and then by ourselves individually. But we still come all up together whenever there's a show anywhere. We're either supporting or we all up on the stage at the same time. Oh, okay, that's cool. So Crazy Ace, how you got that name? Crazy Ace said, um... My mom's best friend's son actually gave me that name, Crazy Ace. I didn't pick it out at all. It was uh, one day he just said, we let's come up with code names. And uh, he went by the name Shiz Daddy, gave my brother, <laughs> uh, gave my brother the name uh, Jawbreaker, gave me Crazy Ace. So uh, the day I started rapping, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with Crazy Ace. And I had a few friends that were rhyming with me and we were gonna go by the name The Wild Cards as a group. Okay. And what happened with that? It didn't fall through? Or? Um, well, only one, one person besides myself was really serious about doing music. I still talk to him every now and then. Uh, he actually, de he can, he said, like, uh, any live events, if he wants to, like, he'll spin some stuff. Um, he's trying to get into producing and all that. Um, I, I've actually been out of touch with him for a couple months, um, but I've been telling him, you know, I, I, last time I spoke to him, I was like, I've been doing a few shows, come out, and then let's get you in with everybody. Um, and he's, yeah, he rhymed on one of my songs called Rewind. I uh, dropped a really, really good verse. Everybody's been, like everybody I showed that song, they were just like, you know, this is like one of the craziest verses I've heard. And they've been trying to get him to come out more so then they can know more What's about What's the name him. of that song, Rewind? It's called Rewind. Is it on your MySpace page? Um, it's actually not on my MySpace page. It's currently on my SoundClick page right now. Um, but I'm, I mean, I'm getting ready to delete my SoundClick page. Just doesn't really get any more hits anymore like everybody's been all over my myspace and then there's a we've been doing a lot of shows and all that um but like if anybody wanted to hear that song you know go to soundclick.com slash crazy ace 2 it's the remix version of rewind okay now what's your name what, what do you go by <coughs> lyrically spoken lyrically spoken now we were just talking earlier you're the one that usually they they feed to the wolves for the battles. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you, you straight, you straight the one that gets in people's asses when it comes to the freestyle out. Oh yeah. Thing off the top of the head. More for the most part. Okay, yeah. And um, what made you, what made you decide to be it? Because nowadays there's a lot of like, you know, studio rappers or mm -hmm. YouTube rappers. What, what made you decide to go that route? Like, were you inspired by somebody? Or? Well, honestly, for the most part, when you see good, powerful rappers. You see the most of them either started in the lunch room, started in the backyard, started in the hood in the corner, in the freestyle battles. Like I know I'm not gonna put it out there, but you know, Reddy Cassidy, for example, started in the corner in Philly. And from then on, you know, you get that you get that power, you get that you get that emotion, that passion. 
And once you get the crowd behind you, that's the best feeling you can get. That's what's up. All right, cool. So what do you contribute also besides the battle? Because you know a lot of battle rappers can't write an album. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you go against that? Or can you can you put out an album that has substance and has keeps people's ears? Clearly. Yes, I can. Okay. Um, I like, like I said, you know, you already know I like freestyling. Um, writing is another I love poetry. So poetry brings rhymes, brings verses, brings a song. Okay. Top of that, I think I can make more than one album, maybe two at a time. I can also rap in Spanish also fluently. Okay, that's what's that. So you, you go in both languages? Yes, I do. Do you do any projects with any Latin rappers, like Spanish-speaking rappers? Uh, not as of yet, but I'm working on it. Have you done any Spanish song rap? Yes, I have. Oh, yeah. what, what are the names to it? Um, this one, which is kind of like a hard hip-hop slash reggaeton, which is called Dejeme Tranquilo. Leave another, Me Alone? Yep. And then there's another one called La Tiraera, which is basically like a written freestyle. Yeah, that's the one I saw. They had the Dominican flag with the money around it. Yeah, you know? with the Puerto Rican flag, yeah. That's the Puerto Rican flag? Yeah. And it has money all around yep. it? Yep. Okay, cool. And you, um, you actually been introduced to uh, the Big Hand before from Forecast. Yeah. You did a project. What was the project that I called? The Three Kings Mixtape. Three Kings Mixtape. Yeah. Now, do you still collaborate with them, or are you just in this group right now? I don't collaborate with Forecast as much. We still talk. Uh, Ex Juno, I do still collaborate with. He's from Boston, though, and he doesn't come out here as much. So we're still trying to do as much as we can. I got him, I'm trying to get them both on my upcoming album, Say What You Mean. I already got Juno on it. I've been talking to Forecast, trying to get him on that, too. So what so, was your role on that album? What did you do? Like, what did you contribute to it? I knew Ex Juno first, and then uh, my friend introduced me to Forecast, and we just started doing songs together. We made a couple songs. And we decided to just make a whole mixtape with it. <coughs> it just all came out. We did it in like two months. We ended up recording it all just in my basement. Just doing it all there. So where you have your own studio? Yeah, I got stuff in my basement that we record with. Now you self-taught or did you go to school for that? No, I taught myself how to do everything yeah, I know. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, all, all of us have our own little studios. All know how to engineer ourselves, other people. <laughs> So you don't have to depend on anybody? It's also no, been no. the other huge thing that we all stress is staying indie. And Independent? Not, mm -hmm. Yeah. Are uh, you guys believe in not compromising anything and not making things for the radio? Humongously. Humongously. Uh, okay, so would we hear any commercial songs coming out of you guys? Or? For me, most likely you will. Um, but that's, like, I'm, I, I like to do a lot of different things. I, I mean, I'm not going to do like, like I'm, I'm not going to be like Soldier Boy or anything like that, but I'm going to definitely, you know, drop a few club songs and everything because everybody loves club music. You love uh, your club music though? Oh yeah, I, I love club music. So you make club music because you love it yourself? Like, I like club music. I just don't like the, the whole like, let's make all these dance moves and I don't like any of that. Yeah. But I, you don't know, some, no, no gimmicks. No gimmicks. Yeah. I mean, if, if it's going to be a club song, we're going to make sure we drop we drop heavy lyrics on it, you know, it's still got good concept. We're gonna put, you know, or we're gonna basically talk about what it what it is like here in the 508, you know, how we do it here. Um, basically, like with me, I, I strongly like try to do songs like with an East Coast type of flavor and instead of blending my sounds up with somebody else. 